Hey there, I'm Mr. Terry, a high school history teacher. Welcome back to another History Teacher Reacts video. All right, we're going back to doing something funny today. And what I'm gonna be checking out is a compilation of history jokes by Robot Chicken. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to explain some of the jokes if there's some context, give you, of course, my reaction. And if you like this kind of stuff, I've done some responses to compilations of history jokes from Family Guy, from Simpsons, from stand-up comedians like Jim Gaffigan. So you might like those too. All right, the original video link is down below. Make sure you're supporting that. I also saw there's a part two compilation. So if you like this and you want to see me check out number two, let me know down below. All right, let's check it out. All right, this, <laughs> this first frame already looks good. It looks like Lincoln kicking uh, Robert E. Lee in the, the junk. All right, here we go. 19 and 20 or one score. Whew. Getting a good ass kicking it in here. Hey, Robert E. Lee, where do you think you're going? We still have three score and seven <laughs> kicks score. to the balls to go. <laughs> um, if you didn't know, that is actually how the Civil War ended at Appomattox Courthouse. Um, Lincoln, yeah, he came down and gave him four score um, up the rear end, actually up the front end with his big old boot. True story. Oh, goody. Four I ordered. Franklin? Oh, God. Oh, hello, Mr. Oh. Franklin. Oh, if only there was a way I could see more of her body and less of that face. Oh, well, it's not like they make glasses with two different types of lenses. He did. Mm. He did, and though. it was on that night that Benjamin Franklin came up with one of his most famous Five inventions. <laughs> Should be a postal <laughs> service. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can't watch that part. Don't watch that part, okay? True story, though. He did invent bifocals, amongst many other things. <clears throat> and yes, he was known for being a ladies' man. You know, he was basically the ambassador of the colonies to France, you know. <laughs> um, and he spent a lot of time in Paris in some areas and had a well-known reputation uh, around the ladies. You can use your imagination, I guess, after that. One man can be pretty dumb sometimes, but for real bona fide stupidity, there ain't nothing can beat teamwork. <laughs> Mark Twain, America's first a hole. Yo, first a hole? I actually really like a lot of Twain's stuff. He, you know, is kind of was representative of like Americana and talk and really observing the American experience in the 1800s and, um, he has some very interesting takes. Um, he, he almost, again, seems like a guy that, that was kind of like ahead of his time a little bit. But, you know, everyone is restricted to the culture and stuff that they live in, though. All right, what do we got here? Pythagoras, the sum of the areas Pythagoras. of the two squares on the legs of a right triangle equal the area of the square on the hypotenuse. Can that you believe true. I discovered that? No, and neither will theorem. anyone else. But they'll believe I discovered it. Oh, he Give stole credit. Guys, he stole credit. look what I just discovered. Okay. Pythagoras, man. Uh, all right, I'll be updating my uh, achievements of the ancient Greeks with Pythagoras. Hey, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I mean, that is a very important mathematical formula. Thank you. And good day to you. Yes. Let's begin. Fiddle duels. Can you imagine if duels were still a thing? Uh, yeah, they sucked back then. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the long reload. <laughs> This is how duels, duels kind of, I mean, without the reloading, it was kind of like this. They were horribly inaccurate. Okay, just fist fight. Just fist fight. Or no, it's over. Good effort, sir. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, guns were so, um, they were, they were terribly, it had a horrible aim back then. Um, so duels like rarely actually uh, resulted in uh, like a fatality. All right. Um, sorry, Alexander Hamilton. Okay. Aaron Burr must have been a pretty good shot or really lucky in his bullet curve the wrong way. Oh, gosh. We got you know who here now. The allies have taken Berlin. And why? Because you all failed to do what sorry I Sorry if it's quiet you. here. This you is the video. Spit. Have you found the Tesseract in Norway? Mein Führer, none of these occult items you ask for exist. A better use of my troops would be... Frau Hopstein, have you opened the gates to hell? I was not able to summon the demonic Hellboy with the help of Rasputin. But I have been working on a military strategy. Hey, there was all kind... Oh, oh my gosh! 
This is crazy. <laughs> um, it was said that the Nazis and Hitler were obsessed with the occult and all that stuff. That's why you get, I guess, stories like Hellboy or Indiana Jones, you know, fictional, but trying to go off some, like, Nazi mythology. Unacceptable! Herr Kurt, have you recovered the artifact from Egypt? Um, uh... Yes, I have found the lost Ark of the Covenant. Yeah, he sounds like the guy from Indiana Jones. Where is it? it is, uh, here. I have kept the Ten Commandments in this briefcase. Finally, he got melted, okay? <laughs> he got I'm melted in the show, though. I bet you did not expect. Keep mine eyes closed. Keep mine eyes closed. This! <laughs> oh, no. The power of God is mine to command. No, nope, sorry, man. Your face is melting. I wish I could see. And your face, too. <laughs> the ghosts are so scary. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. <laughs> melty, melty, melty. <laughs> okay, whoa. You know, uh, last thought that kind of came to my mind there. There was this uh, <coughs> kind of idea that I heard that one of the reasons, like, Hitler, he... Um, held out so long especially down to like the very end with the you know uh overrunning of berlin by the the soviet union that he was hoping that some like wonder weapon something that would be developed there in the last hour of course never happens i don't know what that was going to be it was an atomic bomb because they were quite a ways from that didn't happen but uh probably some some pure fantasy there all right what do we got here most of us will die in Vietnam, but at least it'll teach America a valuable lesson on fighting needless wars. They were trying to be ironic and there. One, two, three. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the magic bullet. They oh killed God. Kennedy? JFK has been shot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> As a Whoa. Need what did they say? <laughs> they... <laughs> Conspiracy said that, you know, for the, the bullet, unfortunately, that, that killed President Kennedy to do what it did, it would have required, like, magical physics for it to happen. Um, so I guess that's where it came from. Ooh. All right. Let's go old school here. Neanderthal, my brain is way bigger than all you homo erectus. True. Okay, Oog, don't have to keep bragging how great you are. I think I do. Yo, Ugg, Derg, play them rocks. Uh... My name is Oog, spell it out, O-O-G, that's original, original gangster. See, I'm next on the evolutionary tree. Your brain's the size of a chimpanzee. <laughs> My hunting skills are so fabulous, I make homo erectus look like homo habilis. Oh. I spit the hot fire cause I invented fire. Then I ate the fire and it burned my mouth. So I screamed real loud and spat out the fire. My advice, yo, don't eat the fire. Ah. Check out my cave art, horses and bison. Here's me and your mama, that detail is fly, son. You don't understand modern art at all. You wipe your ass with your hand and break your eye, wow, wow. So many girls want to rub my stub. They come up to me and hit themselves with the club. I got so many cave bitches, I make rudimentary too. Homo sapiens, motherfuckers! Oh. Thank you so much for hiring me as your. We won out. <laughs> Drop bars. Sorry, first first species to vent guns wins, and they did. Assistant Nostradamus, what can I Nostradamus. do? Nostradamus, please go to Fortune the market teller, and fetch me of. some ink for my quill. Yes, sir. God damn it! You're gonna buy brown ink. I wanted black. I'm sorry I yelled. I've just got a lot of prophecies and I, to write, and I, I'm stressed. Sir, I understand. Why don't you go to the kitchen and fetch me some hot, relaxing tea? As you wish. Ah, you're going <laughs> to spill it on my lap and burn my dick. <laughs> He's prophesying it. Oh, my goodness, it. I'm so sorry. It's fine. I'm just a little sensitive about my dick. Uh, understood. Uh, can I... You're going to f*** my wife. Ow! <clears throat> uh, what? I would never. Yeah, you will, right there on that couch and behind that door. That's where I'll watch. Wait, you'll watch? Yeah. I'll enjoy watching for reasons I won't understand. And then one day I'll open the door, try to join in. You'll be cool. She'll get upset, call it off, humiliated. I slash both of your throats and hang my nude body above your corpses right here. I'm going to leave now. Wait. What? Okay, now go. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Apple. See that coming? Stock. <laughs> Come on, Abe. <laughs> no, Sir Thomas. It's just a character. Like, I, I for one, if you know about him, look into him. You can get all kinds of cre. <laughs> Uh, hyperbolic like uh history channel shows on him that pretty much borderlines on like ancient aliens um but he was known to have these like prophecies you know for things events that haven't happened yet but when you read them they are super vague 
unspecific, don't really have timelines, and people really have to twist the words uh, to make it mean anything. And yeah, anyways, I, I'm not I'm not into the the, the Nostradamus stuff as really any kind of uh, uh, any kind of enlightened individual when it comes to prophesying things. All right, back to Lincoln. Hey, show us what's under that hat. We want to see why it's so tall. And I wanted a tall hat. That's it, honestly. No one needs a hat it was cool. that tall. What are you hiding under there? He was already Three? tall. I'm though. not hiding anything. Now, if you excuse me, America's not tallest so president. What the? F ah! What? Whoa! What is that? You must not let this happen again. Who is yes, this supposed to be? Lord. I know Wait, I what? Who is this? I feel like I'm missing something. Watto freed the slaves. Is that a real thing? Is that from something? Let me know down below if you know. I know I have not always been the best husband. Einstein? This is the smartest thing to ever come out of your mouth. Hey, you want to know the smartest thing to ever come out of your mouth? Mine doodle. I'm Einstein, bitch. <laughs> Einstein, mother. After the bell jar, I think he was that did angry. not seem to write another word. I, Sylvia Plath, must end it all. There, that should be hot enough. That's not what. Oh goodness, it's painful. It's, it's supposed to do this. It's supposed to be the gas. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! It's supposed to be okay, gas. Okay. Don't flip out. This is a time-tested way to kill oneself. Trust the no. process. Oh, this. The bell jar too. A good bell to jar hard. Writing sure is a lot easier when the alternative is sticking your head in the fucking oven. I, Ponce de Leon, have finally found the fountain of youth. In Florida, right? That's what they're trying to find. It's, oh, it was just spelling. <laughs> the little fountain of youth thing. I'll be honest. I don't know enough about it. Was that like, was that actually a real thing that was sought? Like, like actively sought out, you know, Ponce de Leon in, in Florida, trying to find the fountain of youth. Where the heck did that come from? Y'all don't know that, that that kind of mythology. Let me know. I, no, I don't know. But whatever it is, I don't know if they were expecting a fountain literally full of babies sticking out. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that does that exist in Florida? The fountain of is that where Florida man comes from? Is this fountain? What do you boys want to play with? Play-Doh, Play-Doh, Play-Doh. You got it. Picture, if you will, a cave kind of wall blame. upon which shadows are cast. Ah. Father apologizes. Plato teaches Greek culture. Now yes. I'm going to Let's go strip naked and wrestle your father. Hop to it, Dad. Yay! Greek Fun stereotype. Fact, brothels were abundant. In oh, I was hoping to hear something more philosophical from the man who wrote Republic and advocated for a society with a, that's governed by philosopher kings. In Pompeii, Rome minted special Pompeii, coins okay. for payments with pictures of the sexual act that the person would pay for. Some are worth more than others, depending on the act. So, by the way, so they're talking about Pompeii. They've, you know, obviously excavated Pompeii. It's why it's so famous. Um, there are a lot of depictions of those type of activities all over the place. It was, it was supposedly like kind of like a resort town. So people would go there and uh, it's kind of the Vegas of ancient Rome, I think. What happens in Pompeii stays in Pompeii, literally because they got buried by a volcano. Hey, can we get a flashback on that? You I think that was a good joke. Anyone buddy. have change for an anal? Yeah, I got four oh, missionaries. Oh gosh! Look at all these hand jobs. Ah, sorry, you can't pay for melon with a reverse cowgirl. <laughs> I'd like to buy your finest orgy. Okay. This is a missionary. Kids coin. don't watch. You just drew more people on here. That's how it looked when I got it. Parents uh, don't blame it's me. It's customary to tip after a flashback. A rim job. Thank you, good sir. Jeepers, you're unsinkable Molly Brown. Do not condone that behavior. Titanic. Can I have your autograph? Certainly, my dear. Wait, who's she? <laughs> oh, shit. King Kong or something? King Kong fell from atop the Empire State Building, landing on unsinkable Molly Brown, crushing her to death. Oh, unsinkable. Wait, I, I don't believe what I'm seeing. Rescue workers are pulling a victim out of the Great Beast's mighty anal cavity. Let, let's listen in. It's unsinkable Molly Brown. She's alive. What incredible luck for the creature to land on her in such a way. All things considered, Molly Brown truly can't be killed. Gee willikers, aren't you King Kong's butthole Molly Brown? <laughs> hey, can I have your... Get the f*** out of my <laughs> face. <laughs> was Molly Brown the one that was supposed to be on the Titanic? Was she supposed to be the one that, like, um, Kathy Bates? Is that who played? What's the story with that? I don't know that story. 
to the line, Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde, famous criminals. They did get lit up. That was their story. Famous story of their death. Okay, you boys want to explain why this perpetrator was shot primarily in the dick area? I mean, with so many guns, I figured I could just shoot him in the dick and nobody would notice. That was my thinking as well. This wasn't a carnival game, boys. Unnecessary. I pardon, but if he only got hit in the dick and you were shooting too? Ah, oh, you got me. Sorry, guys, I was just having fun. <laughs> I'm still alive. Oh, not for long. Unnecessary. Password? No. One, two, three, four, five. No. Do you have a dog? Yeah, her name's Muffin. Is a password, Muffin? Yes, it is. Come on in. <laughs> Early hackers. Those are like the security, the, 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 like modern security questions. What they used for back then. The first photo bomb. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Gladiator fights. Let's go. I, I am very sad. That they went, the, the Romans used to go into Africa and, of course, take, <coughs> duct these awesome, beautiful, exotic animals and nearly like wiped some of them out of almost to extinction because of how extensive they were used in the gladiator games. It's a shame. Totally a shame. Oh, look at the life he left. Oh, it's like. The the uh, uh, gladiator movie Russell Crowe, like Russell. Crow. Oh, they're teaming up. <laughs> Got to kill the emperor. Who says? Go rip them apart. Okay, there we go. All right, you come and get it. I want yes. You're welcome. See, I want that. Can I get nineteen? Can I get that version of uh of gladiator? That would be awesome. All right, final thoughts. All right, pretty good compilation there of history jokes. They're pretty risque. I don't think I'm gonna be showing this in my classroom, but there are a lot of good history drops there. I was hoping, I hoping I was able to explain a little bit um, to get some of those, but anyways, there was some funny stuff there. Um, hey, people, if they're like, yo, Mr. Terry, you're a teacher. Why would you go after the stuff that's obviously not school appropriate? I've said this before, going back to like the, the, the family guy history videos and all that stuff. It's like, hey, I want to meet people where they're at when it comes to history. If all your appreciation for history has been from raunchy jokes, I'm going to meet you there and I'm going to pull you over to my side and we're going to get even deeper in history. All right. Definitely check out my uh, more stuff if you want to check or see some more commentary on some of these uh, joke videos having to do with history from famous shows and stuff like that. You'll find them all over my channel. All right. Again, the original video link is down below. If you want me to check out the part two of this, let me know and I'll get to it. All right. With that, we'll see you next time.